Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alessandra. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Potomac Beads uh, box. I think they sent me an extra large this time because uh, they were a little late and sometimes they do that uh, for the month of April. They're always so kind. I really love Potomac. Um, they have helped me a lot. They have great customer service when things don't go right. They really make up for it all the time. So I really can complain about them. However, it's going to be the last box for a while for me. Uh, I unsubscribed from a bunch of boxes because I have a lot of beads and I really do want to start using them. Um, don't worry, I still have the bargain bead box even though I was really um, not impressed with the last month's box. Hopefully this next month will be better. Uh, but with that said, I do love subscription boxes, don't get me wrong. But I was getting a little bit too many and I'm kind of getting tired of doing only unboxings on my channel and I really want to focus on showing you guys what I make with different things and not just boxes, but my own beads. I have some beautiful African beads and I really want to collect more gemstone beads. And I do want to kind of get back to my metalsmithing. So I do want to actually start teaching you guys a little bit of that, like at least the basics. So we're going to shift a little bit in this channel. We're still going to do beading, but I'm also going to teach um, a little bit of basic metals knitting and maybe even electroforming. We'll see. Uh, now, this is taking me a lot of time to do, you know, those videos, so please be patient with me. I do have a job, so I try to be consistent with my posting, but I do have to kind of do, uh, you know, unboxings and, you know, every once in a while, you know, come up with an idea for um, a tutorial. And it's very time consuming and I don't get paid at all because, uh, you know, I'm not monetized. So the one thing that you can do to help me out is subscribe, ring that bell, like my videos. You know, and I'll probably put a link below if you want to give me a tip when I do uh, my videos, you know, for, um, you know, the tutorials. I probably won't put it in the unboxing because you can't learn anything from the unboxings. But, uh, you know, anything to help would be great. Um, I would really appreciate it. You don't have to at all. I am so grateful to you guys. I just watched a video uh, from another YouTuber where he was saying that, you know, Eloise's community is great. Every once in a while he gets trolls and he gets these awful comments. And wow, I can't believe that that happens to people. I mean, here we are trying to do our best to, you know, help others learn new things and new techniques. And there's people that actually have the guts of insulting other people because of their physical appearance, because of their method of doing things. I think that is very disrespectful. And I have to say I am very lucky that I have the best viewers on my channel. I am truly, truly thankful to you guys. You guys are amazing. The comments that I get are just amazing. So thank you so much for you know subscribing watching these videos i can't thank you enough it makes my heart just flutter and you know it makes me so happy so thank you sorry for the long monologue so let's just go ahead and open the potomac beads and let's see what we got and you know i do these opening videos because i like to share the surprise you know when i get things you know like this so the theme this uh, month uh, for the month of april is the garden of eden it says travel to the garden of eden when you'll be surrounded in rich coppers i love coppers guys Lush greens and natural stones. I guess we are getting a lot of greens, which I'm really surprised because, I mean, although I love greens for the spring, I also love flowers. So I was maybe, but we'll see what's in here. Create the Eden leather wrap and take a little bit of this paradise with you wherever you go. Okay. So we have on the back of this, the Eden leather wrap pattern, the philodendron earrings pattern, the beads for your stash that are separate. And then there's also a bonus pattern. And, you know, with the extra large box, which costs a little bit more, I think it's about $39.99 a month, you do get a bonus pad, three patterns. And then um, with the regular box, the Bass Bead box, you get just one pattern and you get the beads for your stash. It costs significantly less, though, is like $25.99. So that's why, if you're wondering. Okay, so the first pattern I got is the philodendron earrings. And... Potomac has wonderful instructions. They're really easy to follow. Um, they're just like beading school. Very easy to follow. And then we get the wire-wrapped Rivoli earrings. Huh. That's actually interesting. I have never wire-wrapped Rivoli's, so that should be quite interesting. That's how the earrings look like. And then there's the instructions, which are pretty straightforward if you've wire-wrapped before. Actually, I have not done a lot of wire-wrapping. It's something that I would like to get into a little more personally. I think it would be fun. But, you know, I am trying to be careful with my hands and wrists because I'm also an artist and I don't want to, you know, end up, you know, ruining my hands. So I don't do as much, you know, wrapping. I do it sometimes. But And then we got the Eden Leather Wrap Bracelet, uh, which is one of those, you know, leather braces that are classic. I had done one once and I even bought the little loom. So maybe I'll try to pull it out and do it. I might even do it on camera. I don't know. We'll see. 
Um, if I do do it on camera, it's going to be sped up because otherwise it's going to take too long <laughs> because I'm still trying to learn. And actually, I was thinking about doing some of those videos where I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but maybe I can like speed it up. And if I can learn how to voice over it, guys, I'm trying to learn new things about filming. It takes time, but you know, I appreciate for, I appreciate your patience. So uh, give me some time and hopefully I'll get better and better at filming. Um, so let's see what we got. The first one is this bag. I'm trying to figure out which one has the green. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Is this the philodendron earrings? I think they might be. They look so much lighter in the picture. But yeah, this is the philodendron earrings. So what do we have here? Let me get my little bag. So I'm not going to take everything out of the bags, but I can kind of show you what's in each bag. So we get this gold uh, seed beads. And these are Miyuki seed beads in galvanized gold. Ooh, 11 -0. I'm not super happy. And I don't know if there's direct code on these. I'll have to go online and see. I try to get everything direct code, guys, because when it's just galvanized, sometimes it starts flaking off and it's not pretty. Uh, the dura coat really protects, you know, uh, the finish. So especially for metallics, that's what I'm learning. So I try to get dura coat as much as possible. Um, but I don't, I don't think these are because they usually have a dura coat label on them. But I'll check online. So we get those. Then we get the Miyuki seed beads, you know, pig chartreuse. Uh, and there, these are eight O's, and that's that beautiful green chartreuse color. I really like this color. It's very pretty. Then I get these um, beads that are gemstones. It says four millimeter round. They're not labeled, but I want to say these are, let me get them out for you. But I want to say that these are, what are these called? The tree agate. Um, you can see that they have some patterns. They almost look like moss. And I believe this is called tree agate. So, and that's what they are, I believe. They're not labeled, so I can't tell you 100%. But yeah, these are beautiful green, um, you know, stones. I really like them, you know, with the variation inside, almost like quartz light, but then they have these beautiful, you know, inclusions in them. Of course, then you get the earrings founding. So that was for these earrings. So you can make these out of this little packet. So it's not very many things, it's literally four things. So it should be pretty straightforward and it should be fun to make. So I look forward to trying these out. I think this will be beautiful. Then we get the Eden Leather Bracelet, um, you know, bag. And it's this one right here. So we get some gemstones. And these are Crazy Lace Agates, round six millimeters. And they have a yellowish tint. And you guys know how I feel about yellow. To me, they almost look like Bumblebee Jasper. But they're actually uh, lace agates and they're beautiful. Then we get eight pieces of checked glass tile beads. Um, and you can see that they're kind of like the variegated metallic kind of copper, bronze, gold, antique gold, um, you know, chat glass with two holes. We get three different very earthy, beautiful colors uh, of seed beads. They're only labeled as Miyuki Seed Beads 11 O's, and it says it's approximately three grams. So I think it's maybe one gram each. Um, we have this almost cream colors, this ochre yellow, and then this deep walnut brown. Um, yeah, this is a very earthy bracelet and I'm going to love wearing it. I'm going to definitely keep this one for myself. And then we get some leather cording. Uh, we get about two feet. So that's uh, very generous to make one bracelet. I think there'll be plenty. You might even have some left over. We get one of their cup buttons and it's very bronze and dark. Uh, very pretty. I have like different of their cup buttons. I really like them. Uh, I do need to start using more buttons in my jewelry because I think they're really fun. And look at that. They also send us some dragon thread, so you don't even have to use your own thread for the bracelet. That's very nice. I have tried this one, and I think I have another little spool of this that came in another box. And I tried it for bead weaving, but it wasn't my favorite to use for at least the structure part of bead weaving. But I think this will be great if you need to make fringes. Um, I know it's very durable and it's very thin. But I don't know, there's something about fire line that I like a little better for more structural work, personally. So that was everything for the Eden Leather Wrap Bracelet. Uh, so everything that you need is included. Uh, so I always appreciate that. I like having a pattern and then everything that I need. Um, and I actually do like this colors of this month's box. Um, especially the earrings, I like that they included that bright green to give it a little bit more oomph. And I wish that that's what they did with the bargain bead box, but I guess you have to bring your own beads for that, and which can be done, but you know. Uh, so yeah, so this was it. So I think we are going through, um, let's see. We should be going through the next beads we get is the, um, you know, extras for our stash. So let's go through those. Before that, here's the bonus pattern I showed you guys. This one, I don't think you get the beads for them, but 
I am sure that a lot of us that do uh, bead weaving, we have Rivoli's and, you know, uh, that we can use for this. And it looks pretty simple. All you need is some pearls. For the extras in the stash, you get some uh, Potoma Crystal Disco Balls, 8 millimeters. And you could use these to make those bracelets. So even leather uh, bracelet, if you want, you just make like bigger, um, you know, uh, more statementy bracelets, which I think is great. I kind of like big things lately. I want to make giant, you know, bracelets and stuff. I've seen some chunky bracelets that are beautiful, but yeah, uh, you can use this in stretch braces. You can use this in so stringing, even bead weaving. So uh, yeah, very versatile. I don't know how many I get because it looks like the label was cut off, but you get, it seems like a pretty decent bag. I still have some here. So that's the first item. Once again, this one is not labeled how many we get, but we get the Potoma Crystal Teardrop 6 by 8 millimeters. Here's a few guys so you can look at them. They're very pretty. Uh, Potomac actually makes some beautiful, you know, beads, crystals. I really like them. They're more of the Chinese kind of, you know, quality, but they're very, very good. I never had problems with them. They tend to be very good in size. They tend to be very even, and they tend to have really nice holes that don't cut thread. So that's nice to receive. The next bag is crimp tubes, and I actually don't have any crimp tubes in copper. So I'm glad to get these. I have them just in gold and the silver, so I'm glad to get them in antique copper. Um, and these are the three millimeter kind and you get a hundred of them. We also get some jump rings. It's nice to replenish uh, the jump rings and these are five millimeters and they're antique copper plated brass. Uh, I have some copper steel jump rings. I can actually make my own jump ring with copper, but sometimes I get lazy and don't want to make them. Uh, so it's nice to have these so I can use them in projects. We also get in two inch uh, antique copper plated brass um, eye pins. Uh, you get 36, so that's actually nice. I don't think I have any more copper eye pins either, so I'm glad to get some in a box. Then we get these beads. They're called uh, Drop Duo Aluminum Silver, and they're 3 by 6 millimeters. Uh, I actually never tried these beads, so it's going to be interesting to use them. And one thing about the Potomac uh, company, you can go to their YouTube channel. I've said this before, but for those that are new to this channel, you can go to their channel and you can search for the beads that you want to use and you'll get tons of projects. Um, and, you know, often, more often than not, uh, the box that you get a few days later, or a few weeks later, you'll get a project. And they're usually very nice. Um, there are some that I like more than others. I'm not going to lie. Uh, there is one designer that I prefer over some others, but, you know, I think they have excellent, excellent resources there. So you should go to their channel. Um, they're very hardworking, uh, you know, with their uh, patterns and, you know, you can get their patterns, but you can also follow their uh, free, their uh, YouTube videos. And, you know, they have wonderful step-by-step -step instructions even on the video. So I highly recommend you go check out the Potomac Beads channel. And then we get this beautiful check tulip beads. Um, I always gonna get this and I never end up doing that. So I'm glad to get these. These are absolutely beautiful and they're aqua and aqua is one of my favorite colors to work with. So I am very excited to get these. Uh, they're double sided and they have gold etchings. Um, very nice. I really like these. And we also get a triangle bead scoop, which is very similar to what I'm using actually. But um, this one is more velvety. So Potomac has been sending uh, tools, you know, with along with beads, uh, you know, this year, which is, I think it's a smart idea. Uh, like I got some uh, thread cutters. I use them all the time. So I'm glad to get this. Um, I will probably use it to keep my beads while I'm working um, for sure or to scoop them up and put them away. Uh, so that's really nice of them to include uh, tools as well. Then we also get two millimeter round beads in apricot AB. These are also Potomac crystal beads. And look at that sparkle and shine from the AB finish. These are very nice for bead weaving as well to incorporate. Um, very, very beautiful. I'm glad to get this more, you know, uh, you know, peachy, but toned down colors are beautiful as well. Even though I've been really into brights lately, every once in a while, I do create some more earthy tones. And then we get these very cute beads. Would you look at these guys? They're coffee beans beads. Um, and they're matte French roast. That's the color. These are really fun. I actually had some of these in the past. And um, I think I ended up giving them away because I wasn't using them. But wouldn't this be cute? Like, you know, dropping down for a necklace, you know, all in a row. I think that would be really, really pretty. You could even bead weave them in. I think that would be fun. Um, and it'd be just something different, you know. Especially, this would make great gift. Uh, you know, like if you can make a piece of jewelry out of them for like the coffee lover. And I'm one of them. So I would love that. Um, I would love something like to receive something like that. Just an idea to throw out there. And finally, we get a big check glass, um, large leaf bead. We just get one, but um, it's very big and nice. So it could be used as a focal. You see how big that is? It's all, it almost looks like amber. It's very pretty. 
um, because it's like transparent and the light goes through beautifully. So that's very beautiful. I don't think I have a leaf this big in any of my jewelry supplies. So that's nice to receive as well. And don't forget to keep these because these are great for, you know, preventing things from tarnishing, especially silver. It tends to tarnish so easily. So keep these with your silver or your silver plated items, especially um, because they're a little bit more delicate than actual silver. So just keep these so they don't tarnish as fast because these kind of like absorb the humidity. So I always like that they include these in their boxes and their box themselves is really nice for storage. I use them all the time. Um, and you know, I keep just my Potomac stuff, but then I divide it up and you know, are in certain ways. So I really like these boxes. They're very sturdy. There you go. You guys, everything that is included in the box, the patterns, the three patterns, the two patterns that you receive the items for and the extras. Um, I think this is a great box. I will definitely be purchasing it again in the future. I'm just taking a break from boxes for like a couple of months and maybe like I'll get a few here and there. But I would like to concentrate more on making, even if I make less videos a week or so, or, you know, I'll try my best to come up with things. But um, yeah, if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. In the meanwhile, I hope you have a great time with your crafts and I'll see you later. Bye.